Hi, I'm Jeremy Gates, Managing Director of Gaia Construction. We're an award-winning residential builder based in Alwood who specialise in renovations and extensions. Today I'll be discussing home improvements that add the most value and the risk of overcapitalising with property expert Simon Gaiman. Simon's one of the directors of Chisholm and Gaiman, Bayside's number one estate agent and auctioneer extraordinaire. Thank you for joining us today, Sam. Yeah, thanks Jeremy. Great pleasure to be here. Do people recognise if you put in double glazed windows now, insulate your house properly and put solar panels on? Does that include the sale increase? Does that make the sale value better or not? Or people don't notice the difference? Uh, well, I think it's the changing um, terrain. So we're getting a lot more people ask about you know, what sort of green elements does the yeah. property have? Is there solar power? Um, you know, there's no doubt. You look, you turn, you turn on the media every single day and everyone's talking about the rising cost of power and the changing in solar. So I think people are more acutely aware of it. Um, we, we probably don't have a lot of evidence at the moment to say that it's, it's, it's going to add, you know, if you spend $10,000 on solar equipment, yeah. that, that it's going to add $50,000 in value. Yeah. But does it add to your buyer depth and maybe if somebody's compa comparing you to another property, does it put you a little bit ahead or is it a plus yeah. is it a plus one? Yeah. It's definitely a plus one. Okay, yeah. And you're going to get the benefit of it whilst you're living there. Yeah. So I would encourage it. And I, and I think people are more aware too of, of thermals in a property. So yeah. they ask, they're always asking about heating and cooling. Um, and they're always thinking about running costs because they're buying expensive properties. Yeah. <laughs> And, and they, they cost a lot to maintain yeah. in some cases. So it's, it's important um, that I, I think those things should be factored in. Yeah, if, if somebody is, if their house is built properly and insulated properly, just because the build is registered, it doesn't mean they insulate the house properly. We go and check the insulation, check the thermal panels, we install the property, we go and check this. And then you can put solar panels on the roof as well and insulate it up. Solar panels on the roof, reverse cycle air conditioning. Your house is free to heat and cool. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, one of my colleagues, um, she recently put, she put in solar a couple of years ago and she basically gets a zero bill. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, um, it definitely has a huge benefit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, and there's a few other things that I see as, as value adds. I mean, in, and not in every case because one of those things is you don't want to compromise your property by having too small an outdoor area. Yeah. Especially if you're in a family area. Um, and you know, when you're in a family area, and you, you tend to find that people are going to have, you know, typically two children. If they have, if they have two children, then they, they possibly want to have a four bedroom house or a three bedroom and a study, but they still want room for the kids to play. Yeah. Um, but it is a value add proposition to put in a pool. Yeah. Um, and if you can fit in a pool, you know, and, and not compromise your garden too much. Um, then, then I would see that as a as a value add yeah. rather than overcapitalizing. Because a pool, a pool is going to cost between fifteen and hundred thousand dollars, effectively, depending on what you want. Uh, so you'd get that back on the sale price, you think? Yeah, I do because it it it, it becomes a feature of the property. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a selling point. It's aesthetically part of a landscaping package. Yeah. Um, and I, and I think that's also. That's also something people need to think about when they're tying in their build is, is having the right landscaping. Yeah. Um, because uh, in my experience, a lot of people are buying the front cover and the first impression. And so yeah. the first impression has to count. It has to count in the quality of the, the build works, but it also has to you know, count in the garden and the way that the home yeah. is presented, the color scheme, all of those things. Thank you very much for that. That's a wealth of uh, information for our audience. Uh, I'm Jeremy Gates from Guy Construction. I hope that was useful for you and uh, if you're looking for some building work in Alwood, please give us a call.